Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. Zombie! Fuck! Gadget! Oh my god! Oh. Ah, shit! <laughs> god, no! Shit! Hello, travelers! Welcome back to the episode of Gods Will Be Watching. Um, let's just jump right in and continue. We're on Chapter 5, Legend. I don't know how many chapters the game has, but... I don't know what's up with this guy. This guy ran off into the woods. Why do I feel like they've already died? I need a vacation. It's great to have you all back. Sorry, there's no time to rest, but the situation is critical. What is... What, is he just a hologram to... I don't even know. Xenolifer? Yes. The hell those assholes after now? Wait, where is he? Oh, is he out? Oh, he's right there. Okay, I got you, but they're talking. Okay. Genocide. What? Liam, it, it can't be possible. Stop worshipping that terrorist, Sergeant. They made it clear in their demands. The Constellar Federation must abolish alien slavery or they will unleash the Medusa virus across the entirety of, Gak of Gactus 7. Wait, so... Do we condone alien slavery? Because that's odd. Why would we do that? But Gactus 7 is one of the planets with the highest rate of slaves over humans. What do they want to do? Free them by killing them? Not at all. They were after the Medusa virus in the beginning, since it only affects mammals. Their objective is to create a free world for aliens, making a planet uninhabitable for human beings. Okay, this should be easy then. We destroy Xenolifer's mothership. Problem solved. Those demands were made a week ago. The Constellar Federation refuses to negotiate with terrorists, and the Medusa virus became airborne 37 hours ago. There's no need to- wait, Dr. Zanez? Wait, how is he here? He ran off into the woods. There's no need to panic here. I know the cure. We can reduce an antidote now. I'm afraid it's not that easy. Xenolifer developed a genetically encrypted mutation of the virus. Xeno- Xenomedusia, they call it, and the, ol and the only they have the antidote. How many people are at risk? Four billion. Oh! Damn it, Liam! Shit. Well, okay. There's still, they're still open to, to, to negotiate. If the Constella Federation accepts the demands, Xenolifer will launch the antidote into Gactus 7's atmosphere. No. They won't accept. The Constella Federation never negotiates. For them, Gactus 7 is just another piece on their board. I bet anything they'll even use the tragedy as propaganda. So, that's it, I guess. We aren't superhuman burden, there's nothing else we can do. We should get some rest and focus on how to stop Xenolifer in the future. No. I'll go. I'm gonna stop them. Oh, shit. You are insane. Let me go with you, burden. No, not this time. This is a one-man mission. This is suicide. You should have gotten used to suicide missions by now, Jack. I'm finishing the calculations now. You should collide with Xenolifer's mothership in 2 hours and 29 minutes. It's gonna plow into the ship to stop it! I don't have exact data on the integrity of the Matriarch's hull, but you have approximately a 32% chance of surviving the crash. Burden, are you sure you still want to proceed? 32%? That's a gift from the gods in the face of saving 4 billion lives. So let me get this straight. You're gonna fire yourself onto the, uh, uh, out into space, piloting a one-man cruiser headed toward the Matriarch, aiming directly at the core labs of the ship. Retrieve the antidote, and then manually fire it into the Gactus 7's atmosphere. Exactly. And you're saying this isn't a suicide mission? Yes. What about being inside a collapsing spaceship surrounded by enemy forces? I'll figure it out. Shit, that dog's still with us, I like that. 
Uh, and how is the doctor? Is he just a hologram or do what is? All right. Thank you for everything, Burden. We owe you our lives. Through all the, through all the pain, suffering, and success, it's been an honor, Sergeant. Woof. Okay, Brandon, say goodbye to everybody. You're going with the Sergeant. My AI module will allow me to commandeer the droid rocket, allowing me to disperse the antidote's reactive agents over the planet's atmosphere. That means I won't be co I, I won't come back. 100% sure. I am so glad I can be I can be of service until the end. Goodbye, everybody. That's depressing. Okay, you ready to go. Burden, while Brandon is, is connected to your spaceship, he can provide useful intel during the mission. At this point, you should at least feel sorry for doubting them all those months ago before uh, before Senecos. Gods, Donald, you are you are a rancorous nerd. Just try to come back alive to honor Brandon's heroic sacrifice. <laughs> sure. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Sergeant, go and kick some Xenolifer ass. <laughs> Goodbye, team. We'll meet again in this life or the next. Shit. This is gonna go one. Whoa. Alright. Brandon, are you seeing this? Outer space. An endless sea of scattered dust and a vast veil of darkness. I don't know why, but this cold void feels like home. It's hard not to feel completely insignificant in the face of all this darkness. Have you ever considered your purpose, Brandon? What it means to exist in this vast darkness? Out here, it makes you wonder what four billion lives really mean. Just another white dot. One of a million pinpricks of light, each one indifferent to its inhabitants. Millions of points of light so far in the future that they have already died. Why did I spend my whole life protecting them? What am I protecting exactly? I spent my whole life fighting. I don't even know why. In fact, I can't remember anything beyond fighting. I never had a home. We aren't so different, you and I, Brandon. You and I are the same. I too have never known childhood. It's like I've only existed to save the world again and again. Not for duty, respect, for life or any human values. It's like Marvin just can't stop chasing after that damn stick. This cause is the only thing that's ever felt true. And as long as the gods keep tossing that stick, I'll keep bringing it back. This meaningless world. Shit. Uh. Travel. Shit, alright. Which direction should we travel? I don't know how I ended up here. Maybe I survived a crash or something? Um, let's head north. It's that thing from the... Oh, jeez, it's all the same. Keep going north. Oh, shit. West. Ah, shit. South. Oh, shit. Freeze. Identify yourself. Where am I? What is this place? Are you wearing an Everdusk spacesuit? Yeah. The nebula. I had an accident? I don't know, sir. You're on the desert planet of Legion in the middle of a war. We fight for the Constellar Federation, of course. I see. How can I help? Sir, you just survived what should have been a fatal orbital shipwreck and you're telling me you're ready for action? I heard Everdusk was full of puny nerds. By the gods, was I wrong? Is there a point to all this, soldier? Your insignia den uh, denotes sergeant, sir, so technically you're in command. And frankly, if your spacesuit's transceiver still works, you could save us all. Save you how? How many of you are there? This is embarrassing, but... Our platoon got lost in the desert, and the rendezvous deadline is... 126 hours. 
Okay, let's join your platoon and hurry our way back. Sir! Sir, what is your name? Can't remember. Just call me Sergeant for now. I'm only gonna buy a Sergeant? What the hell? He's gotta be like a cyborg or an android of some type, I gotta think. Oh shit! There aren't a whole... Uh, you guys are kinda worse for wear. Who's, who's this? Sir, I found him while I was exploring the area. He's a sergeant with Everdusk, sir. Miraculously, he survived an air-to-surface orbital shipwreck. Because he's a cyborg. He's offered his help. And the fact that we could make good use of his spacesuit's transceiver, it's, it's still functional, sir. Is that true, sergeant? Just point me in the direction and I'll do my best to lead you there. This might be a son of the gods. I thought we were damned to this place already. If Sergeant Abraham will... It'll be a... I'm Sergeant Abraham. Heh, <laughs> Abraham. Are we going to DC? It'll be a pleasure to follow you lead, sergeant. Just sergeant. Uh, very well. To where, then? We know our base camp is southeast from here, but this desert is treacherous. Understood. Let's move. We'll rest when the sun is down. That could be a problem, Sergeant. The only time the deserts of Legion known darkness were when the sandstorms block out the sun. Excuse me? He's saying that Legion has no night. The two suns keep the planet as deserted as it can get. Corporal Maslow was born here. The, nom the, the nomadic children of Legion are tough as hell, so he'd be wise to listen to his advice. Our best option is to... Wait, Jack? Is that our Jack? No, it's not our Jack. He's using it's a different Jack. Our best option is to use as little water as possible. We should only drink when our bodies are crying for it. Sleeping under the sun is suicide. If we want to rest, we'll have to look for shelter behind cool shadows. Oh, there's also the fact that we're currently engaged in a full-fledged retreat from a war that we cannot win. We should watch out for rebel patrols and enemy camps. That's where our scouts can explore the terrain ahead for us. But time is of the essence. Always keep that in mind. And what about your leg? Yeah, those bastards took it away from me. And the desert sand is making it look uh, is making it look ugly. If you feel you need to make any sacrifice, I give you full authority to do so, starting with me. Sir, what the hell? We, we don't even know this guy. Shut up and respect your commanding officer, Private. We may be marooned in this desert, but we are still going to follow the chain of command. You can count on me, Sergeant. Both of you can. The desert won't forgive any missteps, and friendships won't save anyone out here. So man up and let's move. Well, shit. Let's see. There's me. There's Sergeant. I'm just going by Sergeant now, apparently. Dr. Todd, Abraham, Rasmus, Nil, Nil G, Jack, Sam, Starleach, Grayshock, and Roma. Shit. Alright, mission status. The mission status? 124 hours to the deadline. They said their camp was southeast from where we met. We have 23 rations of water, 10 clips of ammo, 4 explosives, and 6 stim shots. So much time management. Check signal. Transceiver isn't getting anything. We're too far away. Okay, so let's just go ahead and worry about uh, traveling right now. Southeast. So let's go south. Two hours later. South. Let's go a little bit east. I'm delaying the group. You should get rid of me to give the rest a chance. Mission status. All right. 23 rations of water. Let's wait until we actually... Uh, let's see Let's see if we can save as many people as we can. Let's go south some more. Oh, shit! Damn, that was unexpected. We managed to defeat them, but we lost Grayshock. Ah, oh, shit. We should scout a better uh, path next time. I'm gonna scout. Give one everybody checks and all. Who scouts ahead? I forget. Lead, in a, lead attack, give water, kick out... I forget who can actually look ahead. Ex uh, explore. I need you to explore the east. How far do you want me to go? Two zones to the east. Ah, oh, shit. Please, I need a drink. I'm so I'm back. Sorry for the wait. This is what I saw. First, I saw nothing but desert. Then my route was blocked by a huge wall, so I had to come back. Thank you, Romero. Good work. I can barely walk with both on the slowest soldier such as the travel speed of the group. Water and rest, we're all gonna die. Okay. 
Uh, give water to everybody. As thirsty to drinks, we will spend eight rations of water. Yes. All right. Uh, let's travel one to the east and then more to the south. Hopefully we don't have to backtrack. We know it's safe, though. And south. Oh, shit! Shit. Well. In all fairness, we didn't scout ahead. Romero, explore to the west. One zone. And a shelter. All right. So I'll travel to the shelter, rest, and get some water. And then hopefully head south. Yeah, we'll head south. Cool. I know, buddy. I know. All right, everybody. Sleep. Sleep for three hours. And give your water to everybody. Yes. All right. Romero, explore to the south for two zones. I need a patrol and a wall. Fuck. All right. Jack, lead an attack. South with gray shock. Go. Nice. Search. Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna die if we keep we're gonna keep going west and we're gonna fucking die. I see what I did wrong. I see the error of my ways. I see all the error of my ways. We're either gonna die or we're gonna get there. It's gonna be too late. At least then I'll see for the next time. Eight hours late. Shit. Oh, and yeah, we're dead. Alright, so. I'm gonna cut to when I made the deadline. And... Yeah. <laughs> cut now. Alright, so. <laughs> Besides chapter, I believe it's three. Besides the interrogation bit and trying to get to that without dying. This probably was one of the more difficult chapters only because it's very tedious and repetitive and if you don't scout ahead enough you could just land your whole team in trouble but scouted to the south just now um i haven't lost anybody so I, that's i'm like my fourth try in though um and just to let you guys know i still have about 39 hours left plenty of rations ammo didn't have to use a single stim shot so let's travel to the south we should be right here at the camp Gods, we made it. Oh, jeez. Nice. We really did it, team. Now, chin up. Go in there and ask for a beer. You fucking earned it. Sergeant? I want to give you something. Oh. This guy offed himself. What's this? I know that your identity was lost in that horrible crash. And with you no know, dog tags, that could lead to problems with the Constellar Federation. Was that Burden? They're not as friendly as they used to be. But... You taught me the meaning of sacrifice. Thanks to you, I'm alive. Because of you, Sergeant Abraham's mission has been a success. Accept this, and let him live through your deeds. Wait a second. Thank you, ja thank you, Jack. At your command, Abraham. Is that how he becomes Burden? Oh shit, that was Jack way back when. 
Well, regardless, that was chapter five. Gods have been watching. Uh, continue. So, the way it happened for me, um, hours spent 35 moving, 32 exploring, and 23 gathering. Uh, uh, it's people the same. Your favorite soldier is Jack. Most people lean towards Jack as well. Uh, you've saved seven soldiers. 80%, eight, five to seven saved. Um, oh, ooh, only, wait, you saved seven. Eight could have survived at 0.27%. How the hell? 2% only one survived, two to four. You completed chapter five in 92 hours. Average is 139 hours. Interesting, fastest was 40. Cool. Sergeant Abraham suicide. Suicided, killed him. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, stay tuned for next chapter, which is going to be...